Piaget's theory of cognitive development is the next topic. Now, the NCLEX and most exams will test your knowledge on this theory by asking you how to teach a child. So if you get a pediatric teaching question, they're really just testing you on the knowledge of Piaget's theory. So Piaget's theory is four stages of thinking. Be sure to write this down. So first stage is zero to two years old. We call this the infant and toddler stage. So the stage is sensory motor. The child thinks in the present moment through senses and not past or future, as mentioned by Hesse. Another main characteristic of the stage is object permanence, where objects are still there even if you can't see it, like playing peekaboo. For example, covering a toy with a blanket and uncovering it, kind of like peekaboo or jack-in-the-box toy. So that's why this type of toy is the best for this age group. But we're going to cover that in the play segment. Now, as far as teaching, be sure to write this down. We always teach in the present moment. That is huge. So teach them what you are doing while you are doing it in the present moment. Now, as far as pre-procedure teaching, this is mainly for the parents and not for the child. So, for example, Foley catheter insertion for an 18-month-old child. Teach the child what you are doing as you are doing it in the present moment. Now, the next age is three to six-year-olds. These are our preschoolers. This stage is defined as pre-operational thinking. So just think pre-operational thinking for preschoolers. They're very imaginative as well as symbolic thought with magical thinking. They do not understand cause and effect. For example, scraping their knee was caused by earlier misbehavior. They understand the future and the past. Now, a little side note here. Another big example on most exams is if the child is adopted and finds out that they're adopted at this age. They often feel responsible for being adopted and find it difficult to understand, often thinking it's their fault since they don't understand cause and effect. So trust me, this was a big one on the NCLEX. Now, in terms of teaching, teach the child shortly before a procedure. Teach them the day of, the morning of, or even a few hours before here. For example, a Foley catheter insertion for a four-year-old child. Teach the child what you are going to do. The key word there is what you're going to do. Now, the next age is seven to 11-year-olds. This is our skill learning stage. Now, it's characterized as concrete operational thinking. So these children have logical thought, they follow rules, and have rigid thinking. So there's only one way to do something, as mentioned by ATI. And it's defined as limited abstract thoughts, as mentioned by Hesse. So for the memory trick, just think 7-Eleven mini marts. They have a bunch of concrete all around the mini mart. There's no trees or grass. So concrete thinking is between 7 and 11, like the 7-Eleven mini marts. Now, in terms of teaching, we always teach the day before a procedure, and we include skills like insulin injections. So we show demonstration and often provide reading. So for example, teach them tomorrow we will, or you will do this every day. And another example here, which child can the nurse teach bandage placement skills? Seven-year-old and up. Now, finally, our last age group here is 12 to 15-year-olds. These are adolescents, defined as adult learners. So, the stage here is formal operational. They're developing abstract thought. Be sure to write that down. Abstract thought is what they're mastering. Basically, cause and effect thinking. For example, love, hate, and morality. And in terms of teaching here, we teach them like an adult. Again, be sure to write that down. We teach them like an adult. It's basically med surge style. So remember, 12 years and plus, or 12 years and up, they can manage their own care. So teach them, report these findings, or if you see this, follow up with your provider. And another example here, which child can manage their own care? The key term there is manage their own care, just like an adult. 14-year-old with diabetes mellitus type 1. Now, a big NCLEX tip to write down. Risk-taking behavior. 
They're very non-compliant here. So this age group, be sure to write this down, they're just like adults. They're risk-taking and they're non-compliant, especially our diabetic patients. Okay, now you're probably asking yourself, what do you mean by risk-taking behavior? Well, just think about it here. Teenagers have this sense of invincibility, thinking that nothing bad will ever happen to them, wanting to fit in with their peers. So a top missed NCLEX question here that over 65% of students got wrong. A 14-year-old with type 1 diabetes admitted to the ICU with a blood glucose over 500. What is contributing to the non-compliant behavior? The client's psychosocial developmental stage. Yes, our adolescent teenage clients are the rebellious ones. Think rebels without a cause type. So encourage compliance and reinforce patient education in a friendly, constructive manner. So this is always priority. Now ATI had a question, which of the following children would be classified as being concrete operational stage, as defined by Piaget? All right, that wraps it up. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to take your quiz and download the study guides. And also feel free to share the love, share with a classmate and even your instructor. See you guys in the next videos.